Alright, uh, hey everyone, today I'm gonna be making a, um, Fortnite kind of beginner tutorial for everyone on how and what to do, um, with Fortnite weapons, damage ratios, and all that, all that types of stuff, some pretty early beginning, uh, building tips, and, um, weapon damages, what weapons to use, and all that great things. So here, we've got our first selection of weapons, we got the, uh, the gray selection, so in these, I put a gray assault rifle, um, a gray tac, and a gray suppressed SMG, as those are really the only gray weapons that you ever want to use. Um, if you have the selection, you don't really want to use gray pistols or gray um, cannons, unless you want to utilize the cannon for movement, but or unless the gray pistol is your only choice. But um, yeah, I don't suggest either of these unless they're your only weapon you can find. So as for damage ratios, uh, gray AR, does about 30 to the body and 60 to the head. Okay, so yeah, this gun is damage drop off. So this gun does oops, 22 to the body and 42 from the head or to the head from distance. Now next we have a uh, a gray tack. So this is easily the worst shotgun in the game, but if it's again, like I said, the only thing you got, and utilize that. So. This game utilizes pellets as its way to uh, inflict damage with shotguns. So if I would only hit one pellet, which there was four, it would be 26. Um, it's really hard to just get one pellet. That was five, so it was a, just a tad over 30. But with a full pellet shot to the body, it'll do 67 with a gray attack. To the head, it'll do 134. So that's from long range. You don't ever want to use it, or from close range. You don't ever want to use this thing uh, from far range because that'll just do absolutely nothing. Like if I were to be from here and trying to shotgun him, I'd do 16, 26, 20. Like if you're a guy like me and you want to do flicks and stuff, you want to make sure that you're hitting like all your pellets. Um, even though it's not the easiest thing to do. If I were to recommend any aim though, it'd just be steady aim. Just keep tracking them and make sure you're hitting everything because you don't want to hit 30s like this or 20s. You want to hit like full 60s and stuff, you know? All right, now we got the gray SMG. All of the suppressed SMGs actually aren't that bad, um, even the even the gray one. So these also have damage drop off, uh, I believe, for eight. It'll hit for eight, or maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so this to the body will do 22, and to the head will do 44 up close, and then from far away we'll do eight to the body and 17 to the head. So. Uh, again, this is a gun that you kind of want to be close with, so uh, if you're to utilize anything, you just want to pump them and then spray them to death. Moving on to the greens. Green AK, green AR, green pump, green tech, green suppress. So first we're going to do AR and shotgun. So green AR to the body will do about 31, and then to the head will do 62. So it adds one damage to the body and then two damage to the head. From a steady distance, we'll do 26 to the body, 52 to the head. I think that's the most it'll do from that range, or the least. So next, we have a green pump. I don't believe this gun can do a full 200 to the head. Yeah, it can only max out to 190, um, but this gun does 190 to the head close range, and then I believe 100 to the body, oh, 95. So this will do a 95 to the body and a... Um, 190 to the head close up if that Next, we have a green tack. Not as good as a green pump, but a decent weapon all in all. So this gun will do 70 to the body and 140 to the head. So it's also not a big up from the gray tack, but it does a tad bit more damage, enough to definitely get a decent kill on someone. Or right, here onto a rifle, we have the green AK, um, which will do. 38 to the body and 76 to the head from close range from a distance we will get a 51 headshot a 25 body shot with the green AK AK the reset pretty solid the spray goes crazy so I wouldn't recommend spraying this weapon as the recoil just goes on and on and on and bigger and bigger so I'd recommend just tapping it. Now we have the green suppressed SMG. You guys saw the gray one. Um, did a good amount of damage. So here we've got a 23 body shot and a 46 headshot. From a distance with this gun, we've got a nine body shot and an 18 headshot. So again, not a very big up from the last one. We've got the blues. All right, here we go. We've got the blues. So onto the blue AR. 
Um, blue AR is going to do, I think, a little, like, a substantial amount of more damage close up. So the blue AR will do 33 to the body, 66 to the head. Now, from a distance, we will get a 24 body shot. 24 body shot, and we will get a 46 headshot. Now, we have the blue pump. The first pump in the game to be able to register a full 200 one-shot pump onto somebody. So if you hit every single pellet and you're close enough, you can full... 200 kill somebody in one shot but if you hit a whole body shot you had a hundred so this shotgun could completely one shot kill somebody off spawn with no shield in a in a body shot which is pretty fucking amazing anyways we have the blue tacky man the blue tack will do 74 to the body 148 to the head so this gun is definitely a substantial upgrade from the gray tack still never prefer this over um doing a pump spray so like a pump spray would be like let's say i hit him in the body for 100 and then i just you know hit fire spray him out with any smg i have is definitely definitely a way more um efficient way to kill somebody same damage number right yeah it does the blue smg if i remember correctly will do 22 to the body and from a range it will do eight and to the head it will do 18 and then close up it will do 44 i believe so those numbers will be on the screen but i can't show them because i put the wrong gun you got the purple scar right this is where it starts kicking boys so you get them in the head you get a 69. <laughs> six number <laughs> all right then you hit them in the body you got a 34. so <clears throat> get a distance on them you can hit them in the head for 58. 29. <clears throat> so anyways, now we've got the spaz. Purple spaz. It's called the purple pump shotgun, but as a professional and as someone who doesn't fucking think of it as a pump because that's not what it seems like, I call it a spaz. And so do other pros. We call it spaz. So it's a spaz. Anyways, you got a spaz. Spaz will do a fat 210 head pump. So a body shot with this gun will hit for 105. But let's say your aim is really bad. And you missed, you had a 63 headshot and a 30 body shot. So, the damage isn't even that bad if you don't even hit all your pellets. So, flicking with this gun isn't too bad, right? Flicking with this gun is actually pretty decent, but still, as for any other shotgun, I'd recommend just tracking them. Make sure um, you hit your pump. It's always really good to ADS in this game. Unlike other games with shotguns, you normally don't ADS to get more damage. But in this game, um, you can hit a pretty far pump for 210 if you're ADSing and you hit all of your pellets so um ADSing with a spaz is actually very very useful moving on we've got the other scar we've got the suppressed one this one is more of a tapper I'd say um, because of how big the spread gets when you spray it it's just like an AK the spread just gets completely massive but this gun is a laser so um, you're always gonna want to shoot like five shots and then let the recoil reset so you can go As you see, the spread doesn't get too much, um, so it's got a pretty good recoil. I'll show you guys in a minute, but from the heads up close, 64 to the body, 32. So a lot less than the purple scar, actually, but not like too much work. Now here we got the distance. Headshot them for a 50 and body shot them for a 25. As I was saying, the spread is also really good, so you can, you can kind of just spray them from a distance and it'll be pretty accurate. If you tap five bullets at a time, you should hit at least three of the five bullets every shot if your aim is well enough to do so. You see, so I can hit most of my shots as long as I keep it on like a five pattern. Here we've got the infamous peen, with the peen 90. So, this gun is pretty good. Um, it's, it's very big and you guys will see it's pretty common if you guys watch any streams. You know, you guys will see um, P90 because the P90 contains 40 bullets in a clip and is just completely, completely so useful for the hip fire spraying anybody when they need to. Even just spraying it at builds and everything is, is such a good utilization. But this gun will do a 40 to the head and a 20 to the body. So this gun does a ton of damage. So as for distance, it will do nine to the body and 18 to the head. All right, here we are, onto the golds, all right? The gold scar, John Wick needs your help weapon. We've got a fat 72 to the head. 36 to the body this gun shreds from a far distance with this gun you'll hit a 55 headshot and a 27 body shot which is 
pretty amazing, honestly. From now we've got the suppressed scar. Be like the other one. It's uh, suppressed. You can't really hear it from like a five, six block radius. It's pretty, pretty nice to have a suppressed weapon on your hands. Um, so from here we've got 66 and a 33. So not from far. It will do 46 to the head and 23 to the body. All right. Well, here we are. We've got the gold spaz. My favorite shotgun in the game by far. From close, this puppy will do 120 to the head. <laughs> I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna... The close, this scar will do 220 to the head and 110 to the body. So without even needing very good aim, you can just completely wipe someone off the map with this gun. Gold peen, 42 to the head, 21 to the body. We've got a 19 to the body. 37 to the head so it's all in all just a really good gun to be able to spray and hip fire you know like it's one of those guns that you're not really going to use as a main weapon but if you're just gonna you know pump spray them very very good I'll show you guys how much trap damage these traps do so first things first we've got the trap the original you know the best spike trap so a spike trap can be placed in various different areas um it can be placed in on a roof on all the walls or i won't be able to place it here but on a floor if you guys also didn't know if you do not need to place a floor or a wall to build it well you do need to place a wall but you do not need to place a structure to build it if you have a trap and let's say someone is in a hut or something you want to place it then you can just press you know your trap key which mine is t and it will automatically place the uh floor for you so you don't have to do that so whatever build you're selected on let's say i'm on metal and I place it, it will build it with a metal floor under it. You could be on a ramp and place it left or right of you, but you will not be able to place it on the floor or on the wall in front. But you can place it like this um, anywhere if you do not have a ramp in front of you. So let's say you got a guy, he's a little worse than you. You're able to get him in a box. Uh, I would say trap both sides. Oh, I meant to trap both sides. But trap this side and this side. That way they do a combined 300 damage together. Um, since they do 150 each if you get both traps on both sides like that They should not be able to get out quick enough here. <clears throat> we have the new poison dart trap So the new poison dart trap can be placed um, On anything just as well. It can be placed on a floor on any wall The cool part about this trap is it only affects white damage like it only affects white health Which white health is when you have no shield and you know someone hits you for white or you hit someone for white It is called white health um, so it only affects you for white health and it also shoots in a horizontal three block radius So even from there, he'll get shot by my poison dart trap for 80 health, which is pretty insane. It also does a vertical um, Four blocks up so from a vertical standpoint it would go So yeah It'll shoot up to that one right there from the ground, which is also pretty insane. Here we go Now we're gonna teach you guys about the campfire campfires can only be placed on floors can't be placed on walls or ceilings um, they can only be placed on floors, but they give you about 50 health over the course of 25 seconds, I believe. So here we've got minis. Uh, minis, well, they take about two seconds to pop and will give you 25 shield. You can only pop two of them because you cannot go over 50 shield. So if I click it, it'll just give me an annoying noise and I can't pop anymore, which then you can either use a slurp, which uh, gives you 75 health or shield. So let's say I have 25 health, right? And I pop it, it will give me that 25 health and then 50 shield. Um, but if I was, you know, 100 health, then it would give me 75 shield and if I was 125 health it would get me all the way to 200 so this um, is just utilized for health over time so it'll take about two or three health a second and it'll go up for like 33 to 35 seconds then you've got the big pot so if you're low on shield you can't pop any more minis you're at 50 and you want to get to 100 you just pop a big pot which will uh, get you to 100 shield it takes about five seconds I believe and right, here we go we've got a chug jug <coughs> chug jug will take you from 1 HP all the way to max no matter what your health is in 15 seconds so after 15 seconds of using this you will go from um, whatever HP you're at to 200 I'm not gonna pop this just so I can pop all the other stuff but now we're gonna show a bandage so a bandage pretty common to hold um, 
Yeah. They take four seconds to pop, and they'll give you 15 health. You can use them all the way up until you get to about 75 HP. Then you can either use a campfire or you use a medkit. Which medkits take 10 seconds and just get you to 100 no matter what your health is. So since my health is 75, pop a medkit, puts me to 100, got 25 health. Even if I was one, it would still get me to uh, full health. Now we're gonna get into some building techniques first. First and foremost, boys and ladies and gents and boys, you gotta get some good binds up in there. There's two differences between people. There's keyboard builders and then there are um, mouse builders. For me, I'm a mouse builder, so the settings I'm gonna give you guys, or for if you're good with your mouse, you know your mouse buttons, you know you can press them. These are the easiest. I can never be a keyboard warrior. I can never, you know, use my keyboard to build. So uh, for my wall, I have my top mouse button, which says thumb mouse button too. For my floors, I click in my middle mouse button to put those down. Um, for my stairs, I use my bottom side mouse button, which is uh, just says thumb mouse button. Then for my roof, I use F4, but I would recommend changing that. That's just what I'm used to. I would recommend using like Q or something on your keyboard, really easy to reach, like Q or V or Z or something, you know, something really easy to, to hit. For traps, I keep it at T. Um, I know some people that, you know, like to put on auto run and use, it, use shift. Things that you guys should use that might not already be, um, set up are like ping and place marker i marked that to q because q isn't really used for anything for me so um if you ads <laughs> and you press q you'll mark an enemy if you just press q normally you'll mark um just anywhere on the map that you can see and then if you find something on the ground you press q you can mark that specific item so it's always very useful um so yeah let's get into some quick building tips so here we have what's called a one by one it is a ramp mixed in with a box so you basically just put your ramp in a box you can basically make it as high as you want it to go um you can take a one by one you go one by one three up and then you know you can add it down you can use your one by one you know, as much as you want and you always just need to know these the few things which is um the ramp floor wall which i just do like this is a very like really the only way to ever really push one push someone in uh pubs from my knowledge so let's say you know my friend here is an enemy and I'm in a pub and shoot him I'm like oh I hit him then I'm gonna push him like this because now I have the high ground which is always the most important thing you always want to have height on someone not only does it make your bloom better but it's harder for them to shoot you behind your builds and when you have high ground it's just easy to you know quickly take cover and shoot back so <clears throat> having high ground is always the best but that's the way I like to push people I do a ramp then when I get about equal level, I'll put a floor and then a wall so it looks like this. Yeah, pretty simple. Um, it'll take a bit to learn and to be able to uh, do it while full sprinting. Then we have um, just normal build techniques to like get on top of people. So this is pretty good is what I use. It's just like a little, it's the same thing. You just add a wall to your right. Um, and then, you know, if you're ever on the level of them where you, you want to get above them to get a shotgun shot on them, let's say like, Ooh, he's got no more shield. He's pretty easy to shotgun. I usually just take a floor and go out to them and then I'll just drop down and kill him like that. You need something better. You know, you're, you're starting to get into more build fights, but you don't know what to do to get height faster. You don't know what to do to, uh, you know, just be faster. So these are called nineties. There's three ways to do nineties. Um, there is the NA method, which is basically just a circle. You do three up before your jump fatigue kicks in. You can't do any more. Um, in a slow version, it's just putting a wall here, one up, and doing a circular motion to put a floor and a ramp. So it's a circular motion, floor, ramp. Circular motion, floor, ramp. You always want to stay on like the left side too so that you're never um, in the middle of it so that you're like under your ramp or something. So you always want to stay on the left side or else you know you're gonna be under it so stay on the very left side circular motion these are na 90s we have what's called eu 90s these ones are a little more difficult and have a little bit less building though to do so that you can get height quicker while using less mats and you know obtaining high ground in the easiest way possible so here you got, you know, the, the stair floor wall, right? Then all you do is stick to the left, just like last time. Look to your right, place a wall, place one above it, and then floor ramp. 
So it would be just like a little side flip motion where you just look to the side, place the two walls, floor ramp. Place the two walls, floor ramp. And fast it would look like this. that down you can start getting tricky with it there's fancy and quick ways to do 90s which <coughs> i'm a pretty unnecessary guy so i do the fucking fancy stupid 90s that are pretty unnecessary to do so anyways to do those um i don't even think these have a fucking name but you just look to the right place the wall and then look back up and to the left to place those and then floor ramp so it would look like this they're pretty unnecessary like you definitely don't need to do these but in my opinion i just think they're quicker to throw your mouse out like this and do it i think they're way quicker to utilize height you can just completely throw your mouse out and do it you can even get in four sometimes if you do it right so you'd still have jump fatigue after the fourth one but yeah those are my favorite ways to do it all right so let's say you have some guy you like, like build. build at me let's say you have okay. a guy building at you and you want to be able to get height on him once you have height you can then you know come in the 90 up above him so that's really like the best scenario to use it in is when you guys are coming head on um and you need you know to gain height off somebody rushing you or like you guys are about to meet at a certain spot and you need so let's do it one more time so someone's rushing you and you guys are about to be at like the same height and you need to block them off and then start 90ing up which any way you prefer to do it that's just like the best way to do it is when you guys are equal level and you want to have the high ground is when you normally want to start your 90s you could also cone the top of them like this and you can box them in or uh you can do a few other things like if you were to rush me like that again i would so let's say you were to have this spot out like this over me on the ramp i would be able to just turn around and make another one here but the best thing would be to like jump and place a floor under his ramp so that you can use his ramp as a way to double ramp away from him and then you can do your 90s and get height you guys get into a fight and you want to utilize cones you can cone them and then you know if they try to break it then you shoot them or you can edit it and shoot them or whatever it's all the same thing but you can get them stuck in your cone if you miss the cone and you know they come through it or something it's always best when you're on a cone to do two walls and a floor just jump so if I'm stuck on a cone and you know they're on my cone with me you just put two walls and a floor and jump over them so that you know they're stuck down there now and you're not uh, you want to do it before they would but coning is huge so like let's say he gets a ramp over me and cone him and stick him in here if I have any traps I can place them on the sides like this um, I can break his ramp and take it over and now he's stuck in a box you know you can edit it any which way you want so let's say you know you got a uh, let's, let me get some damage off on him all right shields off so he's gonna box up and make a one by one right you know he's hurt he's hurting um, there's a couple things you can do so a uh, you know, let me put these on the side so you have a, a wood wall that's completely brand new it would take two pickaxes to break that down so you'd go you go one two and then you try to replace it so one two replace one two replace so you always know to replace on the second swing right so a wood wall would be two you know they'd be holding it against you one two one two then once you get the replace when you go to shoot them you can edit it in any which way you want you can do that you can do that you can do that you can do that you know you can edit it in any which way you want to replace it but if they're hiding in a brick one by one it's gonna be three so you're gonna go one two three replace which would be the way to do it if it's brick. Now, if it's metal, it's four. So if they're hiding in a metal one by one, it's fully built wall. You just go one, two, three, four, replace. Now it's yours, you know? So some people might have better play ping and they might replace it before you, which is, you know, it's very common. Then just don't stop trying, but also be cautious because let's say, you know, I, um, I pickaxe it and he gets the wall from me. Most likely you don't want to just keep swinging your pickaxe like this because they're just gonna keep replacing the wall so if they keep getting it and you can't somehow get their wall um, the best thing you're gonna want to do because now if I keep swinging he's just gonna edit a window on me and try to pump me so the second you know it's two or three times now and you're not getting the wall you want to just ramp up and then there's this little spot on the side where you can hit their floor instead of their their cone so I can hit the floor and replace it there so now it's my floor and then you want to get their cone now I have both and you just double edit in and yeah. that also so if it starts to become a problem 
where you can't get any walls you can't get their wall you can't get their cone you can start confusing them so like hit this one once you know go up hit this once go down hit the wall again once you know you can hit everything and then at that point most things are one hit so i could just be like you know i can edit this and then he'll think i'm gonna go down but instead you hit the cone you take the cone over you get the wall so now he's he's pretty confused as to what i'm gonna take so i can get that my wall now too so now i have the wall and the cone and then you just kill him so start getting jiggy with it if you can't get any walls you can start fucking going around pickaxing everything at some point they're probably going to edit out the top or something to get high on you which at that point if he edits out of the top of his one by one to get high on you just take it amongst yourself to build up and build fight him it's pretty traditional it happens in almost every fight um where someone will either sit in their turtle and wait for you to get the wall um and try to shoot you inside it or the instant you get their wall they'll build out and try to go for height that way you have to build fight them which is very common and will happen in a lot of the cases but we're going to show you guys a fight right now to kind of show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to like the utilization of 90s and all this stuff. <sighs> all right boys and girls well i think that's basically everything you need to know you guys got your um you got all the bullet damages you guys got all you know the pretty easy to learn and simple building techniques um the starter you know stuff you're gonna need um before you you know hit, hit the hit the arena games which i will be making another video guy another video on so if you guys want to see um some more videos of just like more advanced tips on what to do when it comes to like arena games and how to play um, against more competitive type scenes then uh, make sure to leave a like and you know we'll get we'll get that out to you guys pretty simply um, there's a lot more tips that I could give but I'm gonna save that for other videos just to not make this one an hour long and, you know a lot of a lot of things to be shared so make sure to like the video and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to let me know. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.